All right, guys, this is another scholarship opportunity in Russia. This is the Russian Scholarship Project Association Global Universities. And um, it's a uh, Russian Scholarship Project is your choice for early admission for tuition free program at one of the leading universities in Russia. So let's take a look at it. Let's look at the, the areas that are covered in this uh, scholarship. We have the biology, we have the business management, politics and international studies, computer science, cognitive neuroscience and technology, mathematics and artificial intelligence, physical science, education, economics, econometrics, earth science, chemistry and material science, clinical medicine and public health, linguistics and literary uh, studies. Then we have engineering and technology. These are the various fields that are eligible to apply for this scholarship or where these are scholarships offers a diverse, a diverse package about that. Then uh, the registration uh, opening is uh, it's 15th of September and the deadline for application for portfolio submission is 10th of December 2022. Then 21st of December 2022, the first round is uh, the first round closes for uh, first round breeding of uh, portfolios. Then 23rd of December, announcement of first round of results of uh, portfolio that's application. Then January 19th, the second round of uh, application, the second round of the result is being announced. And uh, the final issuing of uh, the scholarship will be announced on 14th of March 2023. So those are just kind of a uh, sketch about uh, uh, the application uh, timeline. Let's look at those who can uh, uh, apply that scholarship uh, participant who is eligible and who is not eligible, who should apply and do you know stuff like that. Okay, so these are the list of uh, documents that will be needed for this uh, application of this scholarship say which documents will i need for the first stage say only motivation later and educational level proof are required without providing them you won't be able to submit your portfolio and take part in the second stage or consequently you will lose the opportunity to become a winner and prize winner and get the scholarship through open doors so that's what is there this is just a kind of list of all documents that are needed for this uh, scholarship on this uh, last page, this is item nine. Okay, so let's just take it from maybe one to nine. Say one, what does subject mean? Subject is a field of knowledge that covers group of program, tracks, master students can follow. The area of science you would like to specialize in to be short. Then two, what do I do if I win? Say first, select a program in the subject you are a winner in. Then choose one or several universities that offer programs in this track. So the next, uh, the language you can study in. And now, uh, you know, just like that. So we wouldn't want to make this uh, videos too long. Then they say, what language will I study in? So after confirming your proficiency in English or Russian, you can study in that language. If you need to improve your Russian, you will be offered a Russian language preparatory course. Then four, will I have to pay a tuition fee? So your tuition fee will be paid by the Russian Federation. You will only have to cover your travel and accommodation costs, insurance and personal expenses. So meaning that this scholarship covers only your tuition fee, your accommodation, you will be the one to cover for your accommodation, your travel, your insurance, and your personal uh, expenses. Then the fifth item, say, can I enroll in any program I intend? You say you will be able to enroll in a specialization indicator in your registration form. With this specialization, you can choose any program applicable for foreign students. Then sixth item said you have a bachelor degree scholarship. Say no, the competition is only open to 
people possessing bachelor degree or completing a bachelor degree program in the year of the Olympiad, Olymp Olympiad for the master's track and processing master's specialist degree for the doctoral track analogous to PhD in the year of the Olympiad. Okay, so many that is a post doctoral scholarship, master's, and those going in for PhD. So that's what it means. Say, so can I add tracks and all subjects when the Olympiad is already taken? Say, so you can only do this before the stage one ends. So, you can only change your subjects when uh, during stage one, when stage one has not ended. Then, eight items I took part of the Olympiad last year. Why can't I access my account to the Open Door website? Say your account has been deleted every year, you have to create the account as well as filling your personal information for your portfolio anew. So that is what is there. All right, guys, so that's a short one over there. Please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next one. This is a frequently asked question. Please you can just ensure you go through it. It's a very lengthy one, but ensure you go through it. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm Moses Abarisi. Bye.